louder because I know you guys are loud. Are you enjoying Game On Expo? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I'm Claire, lovely to meet you all. Any Resident Evil fans in the house? <laughs> Bloody fantastic, by the way. Now, I'm going to call these guys out one by one. Are you ready for this panel to start? Are you ready? Let's get them out here. Let's start with Stephanie Panacea. Give yourselves a round of applause. It's just really cool to be able to travel around uh, the country and the world and meet you guys. We really appreciate you, all of us. I love it. And Jeff, it's so lovely that so many of you are together. How does it feel sitting up here with everybody? For a lot of us, it's been the, it's the first time we've been in a room. Well, it's the first time Maggie and I have been in a room together. Wow. Yeah, uh, so it's great to get like, this is a real family. It's really, it's, oh a, it's a joy, like, on the <laughs> As she oh, wow. snacks her lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's, when Maggie makes time for us, it's very nice. <laughs> but she can utter it under the breath of us munching her sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody wants to know what kind of sandwich that is. Yeah. There's only one answer to this question on this panel specifically to what that sandwich is. What's in your sandwich, Maggie? Oh, oh, Leon? Woo! That was not incredible. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Couldn't tell you. A Claire sandwich? It was almost a Claire sandwich. Hey! I don't know what it could be. That's alright, we'll move on. <laughs> that was the sandwich portion of the pack. Um, hello, it's uh, Welcome to Food with Resident Evil. Um, Stephanie, what I love about all you guys is it really does feel like a family. Like you guys have taken me under your wing. <laughs> I was trying to have a, a magic moment here, Maggie. <laughs> you should try that. I got you, Maggie. I got 
about you one second. I was handed this. Oh. I'm not sure I should try it. Here, here, here. I'll hold the, here's my mic. Here. Get comfortable. You ready? Oh, this is actually. We have enough. Oh Wait, I got one too for you. I'm going to stare directly into your eyes while I'm doing this. Alright. Nice and slowly. It's like nice a National Geographic show. <laughs> similar sensibilities, they care about what they're doing, care about the fans, care about each other. It's what's just really sincere. I was it's, just, just, like, it's just so sweet. I just thought something like, well, you know, I like sushi or something, you know well, I mean? Well, over sushi, but really, I mean, when you get to work with people who care a lot, it's very easy to, to bond together. So these are like genuinely good people, uh, and, and it makes it very easy to work together and then stay friends. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I was about to have a moment. I feel like you were robbed of a moment and it's their fault. Getting nice words from Jeff Shine though is one of the highlights of my year most of the time. If you have not met Jeff Shine, go see him at the table again. <laughs> Stephanie, did you want to add it? I mean, I think as much as like we're absolute goofballs, um, it's true, like we really do genuinely care about one another, you know, like, we're in there and like, we can get really deep about stuff and then we can also get really light about stuff and, and I think that's what, you know, it's kind of a good representation, I guess, of Resident Evil as a whole, it's really dark and then you got some like, goofy line that pops up and you're like, oh, that was fantastic, you know, and so like, that's kind of like, how we are, we have that dichotomy of the, the deep stuff that happens in life and then we've got the like, fun, playful, ridiculousness, which is usually where we're at, um, but we really do hang out with one another. We enjoy hanging out with one another, you know? And then we indoctrinated Claire here, you know? I think I started talking about farts, and then that's how it happened. So. We did. And we are the fart girls. So we became the Maggie and Stephanie where the fart girls don't ask places. We brought her from the UK, and here she is. She was like, I'm coming to America. Two and a half so parts lovely. later. I turned more than a two and a half parts later. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but it's true. It's like we, we really care and, and it shows. And I think that's what makes it so fun because reunions are really reunions. We have fun and then we get to have fun with you guys. <laughs> so, and then that's why you get the wackiness and the love and the depth and the intensity all when you come to our tables. I hope you feel that because. I know every one of these people is definitely given that. So, you, I'm going to talk about like uh, experiences with the fans in a second, but I, I wanted to ask um, about the silly lines. You know, are there, I mean, you know, it's, Resident Evil is a very serious game. It can be, but were there ever moments where you were standing in the booth 
saying a line over and over and over again and going, what the hell am I saying? <laughs> Ned Kernicold, you want to start? Bitch can't even swim. <laughs> I uh, had no context for where that was going to go in the game, for the record. We had no idea. They were like, just imagine. And I was like, I'm with you. I did have a lot of context when I said, chew on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. <laughs> or a chew, baby. Maddie, are you okay? You meant chew? Are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> what about you? Your first is Lady D, and that's yeah. really a shame. Really a lot in life, so. Um, did I? No. Okay, great. No, I didn't. Uh, I should have looked at you. Um, what was your question? Uh, <laughs> classic Maggie. Love it. Love it. Love you. Um, Put me on the end for any it. lines that you were saying over and over and over again in the booth where you were like, this is ridiculous. She's a one-time wonder. wonder. Well. Uh, every line is ridiculous for Lady D. I think for me, because it was my first time doing a lot of this stuff, it wasn't the lines that were making me laugh. It was when we have to do efforts or sound effects, like when you run, or when you just have to do some breathing, and everything just sounds so, shall we say, weird out of context. <laughs> and just in the booth making weird noises, and that's your job for the day. You get a paycheck for that. And I remember feeling very surreal about it. Like, I can't believe that I get to go do this for a living. What a, what a gift, what a privilege. And then there were definitely the other times where I was saying crazy lines and our cinematics director, Steve, was like, I actually think you're insane that you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that was my experience. I can't remember a specific line. There were but what about you, Jeff? Any lines you remember you think, God, this is, this is weird. No, I didn't, I didn't think it was weird, but I just knew I was in for like a, a super fun project when my opening line was, hey, fuck face. <laughs> I, felt like, I felt like, this is going to be a good day. Like, and like Carlos, I got to like live my dream of being like a ridiculous 90s action hero. So like, it was great. We should all start a day with, hey, fuck face. You don't? That's exactly how I start my day. <laughs> but life tips, life tips, life lessons. What about you, Steph? So the line that I had to say so many times. Yeah. That made you go from the adult. Leon! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, okay, did you remember this though? Okay, so if you haven't played RE2, I'm sorry. You might want to put your hands over your ears, but it's been five years, okay? Um, but so there's the scene where at the very end that we meet again, right? And uh, and do you remember how many times I had to do that one line? I don't know if you remember this. Yeah, in the courtyard, that one? No, the one in where I have Sherry there, and I'm like, this is Sherry, and you're like, oh. okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that one. Okay, there, for some reason, there had to be so there was so much on Leon, like, I felt like I'm exhausted. He walks in, I'm like, Leon? And they're like, no. And I'm like, okay. Um, Leon! No. Okay. Leon? <laughs> Seriously, though, there had to be so much depth. So if you ever get to playing that one scene again, please admire my work, because there is 20 layers of Leon in that, okay? <laughs> And, um, the effort noises, and I was doing the Red Dead Redemption panel before this, and Rob, who plays John Marson, he said that he had to practice with, ugh, you know, lifting heavy things. But then it, it kind of translated this into his real life where he'd pick up random objects and go, ugh. <laughs> Did that, has that ever happened to you where you've been efforting and then you find yourself maybe like, you know, getting up out, out of bed and, ugh, like something like that where it's... I have a question though, real quick. Nick, remember that one time that you had to do an effort and something happened to you? Did you your pants? <laughs> That's what it feels like. RE2. This is just your pants, though. Did you just... <laughs> I, I, um, I choked myself out 
Accidentally, I passed out in the booth. Uh, Did you go up old? What's that? Did you go up old? Yeah, I hit the back of the booth and I fell, and the, the audio the audio for that take made it into the game. So it was the, it was the very last effort that we did for the entire recording of the game, and uh, the director said, you know, imagine you're getting choked and impaled, and, and you have your last gasp of breath, and then you die. And he said, let's go for it, let's go all out, and then we'll call it a day, and we'll bring, we wrap the project. I said, okay, let's go all out. And I was screaming all day, my, my brain didn't have a lot of oxygen in it at that point, the room was stuffy, and I gave it my all, and I had my hands on my neck like this, and, and at the end I just gave that thing, and I just... And then I, everything went black, and I, I fell towards the back of the booth, and he thought that was part of my gimmick. Like, <laughs> and and, he, so and he, he chuckled. And when, when my face went white as a ghost and my leg was shaking like this, he goes, oh my god. And he gets down, and the first thing I said was, did I break anything? Yeah, so I, I choked. I don't recommend you do that, but I, I did it for the performance and it made it into the game. Very method of you. I didn't do it on purpose. So admire his work too, okay? <laughs> In terms of effort. I don't know if I'm gonna follow that. Right? <laughs> well, originally the question was like, has it translated into your daily life? Yeah. I do find that occasionally when I see objects, I'll be like, this could be useful later. <laughs> you know, just like the video game thing of like, well, I guess I will talk to myself out loud just because uh, there's so many lines in games, especially if you're doing any kind of playable character, where like they're trying to communicate to the player, go that way, yellow tape, you need that thing. And we'll have voice lines that are like, oh, this will help with health. And you like you have to like justify talking to yourself. And I do like doing that in real life, just like a hairbrush, being like, oh, I can use this later. <laughs> I love that. What about you, Jeff? Have you got any effort noises that you use in real life? <laughs> Not in the bathroom. Every night. No, although, but I will I'll go for Nick though, because like sometimes those efforts, you're always kind of like teetering on the line. I've definitely been close. I haven't taken it that far. That's intense. Um, but it's no, physical shit. Yeah, no, but it is, it is, yeah. And you like, it's weird. It's a weird job to be paid to choke yourself out. It's also weird to have them be like, um, so let me try to explain to you what these spider creatures are gonna do. And here's the kind of sound that we're gonna need. And you're just like, awesome. <laughs> Oh, but you imagine effort noises that translate to your real life. I like how you surprise surprised you like, every time I ask you a question. We're on panel, Maggie. I thought I was just here to have lunch. <laughs> Do lunch you budget? know where you are, Maggie? Everyone say hi, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. How did you walk in here? <laughs> Any effort noises that you kept doing that you ended up just it translated into your real life, like getting no, out of the chair? No, I think that. Um, I think there would be a real problem with me if any of those efforts turned into my real life. So happy to say that they haven't. But they are very stressful. And Nick, good God. I don't know. Yeah. My God. Max, that's actually not true. There's How dare a, you? There's an effort that you do all the time in real life. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Okay, but I she takes a flex to go. That's all I did in the game, although I could have. <laughs> Lady D is all angry and they go <laughs> um, I'm going to ask one last question because I th I've got a feeling we're going to have a lot of fan questions so please start queuing up at this mic I will get to you in a wee second That's it Ooh, will somebody She's up? Scottish she won't Oh my god Oh my goodness this, Some of the cosplay is amazing Alright guys, third down Last question Look at this squish squash going on here. Alright, okay, guys. I've got one last question and it's relevant to. You guys good? We're still the panel? Oh, well. Um, okay. Uh, one last question. Stephanie, I'm going to ask you, but I'm going to then sort of like ex extend it out here. You do a thing at your table. It's called, I'm calling it the Stephanie Panicello experience, or you've called it that. Can you please explain what the Stephanie Panicello experience is when somebody comes to your table? My self-experience? Yes. 
multi step. I just explained it. Did you hear it? Oh. No, that was it. Jeff, aren't you so glad you met me? Aren't you so glad you've met me? Yes. Have you been waiting your whole life? This is a better day. You just turned to me and went, that's not a good joke. <laughs> Oh, that's what he said. I said, this is, I this is, this is, I said we're out of control. Oh. I, I think it's a great joke, actually. No, I wasn't joking. No, I, I wasn't either. <laughs> <laughs> Sound effects and all that. I wish we all had soundtracks though. That's what I yeah. do think about. Like when I walk in the house, like, I wish I had a soundtrack. Oh, okay. I, well, I wish that a lot too. What would yours be? Yeah, what would yours be? I'm so sorry, Stephanie. We'll get yeah, back to the selfie no, experience. No, please. No, the whole Basically, thing. Basically, you need to go to Stephanie's table. Just go there. Go to her table. Exactly. Yeah. If you want to experience a selfie experience, anyone who has done it, don't say what it is. Is it worth it? Yes or no? Yes! And that's all I'm going to say. You're in my hands when you come for that. Just know that. Okay, so that's very awesome. quickly going along to, and then we're going to get to fan questions. Jeff is really concerned. Yeah, well, that was like very open-ended. Jeff. Uh, okay, then soundtrack. What would be what would be the kind of vibe, the the music to your Jeff vibe? I think Jeff would be Danger Zone. Oh! Top down theme song. Yeah, like yes. there's definitely some. You know what's got a great soundtrack? I he's, just good. He, he's definitely something. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay. you know, have you ever, has anyone ever seen the movie Rad? Okay. Alright, cool. cool, 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 cool. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out pretty really well. I'm going to play with that one. Um, it's like lots of really like old like 80s, 90s, like, um, uh, like Rocky type music. Check out Rad. It's a great, it's a great, it's a movie about BMX. Like, was it Rad? It was Rad. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah. They, 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 there's like a prom and they do a dance off on bicycles. Oh, no. Actually, I know, you're confused, but you're thinking about it now. <laughs> Very quickly, soundtrack. Nicole, what's Nicole's soundtrack? Oh, all yeah. Disney music. I was going to say musical theater, close enough. <laughs> Nick, what about you? Uh, Nick is like Nirvana, Nine Inch Nails. Yeah! Yeah, maybe. That's all I have. Yeah. Yes. Oh, what about you, Maggie? What's mine, Nicole? Burder, 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 burder.
All right, children and parents. Um, I, I had a lot of favorites, but the, I guess the, the classic would have to be, don't worry, I'm not going to go and die and leave you in a cold, cruel, colorless world. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, this is not actually one of the super crazy fan favorites. I do love all of those, and I will happily say them for you or write them on a print. But I really like. I'm definitely burning these clothes. Yeah! <laughs> all right, I'm doing this for you guys. Oh, yeah! Where's everyone going? Yes! Bingo. <laughs> Trevor, I've never seen this before. This is cool. Guys, round of applause for that this. That is hard. Yeah. I don't know where the voice is going to come out of. Well, here we go. What's your name and what's your question, my dear? Hi, my name is Jade. Like a stone. Um, Hi, Jade. Wait, Jade, is that you? Oh my god! Hi, Jade! <laughs> what's your question? If you were lost in a room with your least favorite BMW, who would it be? OG Nemesis. Uh, favorite favorite monster. You would say. Favorite monster. Thank you. Favorite monster. Least favorite monster. Well, that's a good question. Uh, Stephanie and I would be doing a chant around the liquor, really quietly. Yeah. No, thank you with liquors. Favorite monster. Actually, no. I hated you. your spiders. Yeah, they were. Oh my god. I can't even like. Ugh. Ugh. Mm. That. <laughs> Jeff or. Wait, 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 what was the question? If you were stuck in a room with your least favorite monster, who would it be? Is that the question? Oh, who would it be? Yeah. See, I kind of feel like. Oh, wait, poop dragons. I forgot about those. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, sorry. Did you say poop dragons? I call them poop dragons. They're in RE3 as well. They got the worst ones. Anyways, continue. Oh. Sorry, John. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, I feel like, uh, like for Carlos, it would actually just be the old school traditional zombie, but he would just, I'd be, I'd, I'd be talking my way out of it. <laughs> just like really chatting, you know? Yeah, yeah, like chatting him up. I think it'd be good. Nick and Maggie, what about you guys? 
Uh, well, oh, my favorite monster is, is OG Nemesis. But I might like to be in a room with him, so I would say the crows from RE1. They were just annoying little shits. I don't know, I'm being exposed because I'm not really a game I love, but maybe I, this is not my least favorite, but I just really like Moreau and I'd like to chill with him. Oh, okay. So I didn't really answer your question, the answer is mine. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Thank, Thank you. you. Amazing talk. Great stuff. Thank you. Hello, friends. Straight up to the mic so we can hear you. What's your name and your question? Hello, guys. My name is Dennis, and this question is for Nick. Um, when going into Resident Evil 4, uh, what was your process from going to uh, like a uh, rookie, uh, almost naive Leon to this more badass, almost James Bond wannabe kind of? <laughs> Alright, well, like Jeff, who I just met two days ago for the first time, uh, well, I think we're fans of the 80s movies. Yeah, just a little bit, okay? We grew up in the 80s. Um, and so for RE2, they had to kind of like, like reel me back a little bit. I wanted to be that 80s guy, right? And they said, but he's a rookie, he's not quite there yet, so dial it down a bit. And I said, okay. Uh, you know, Boy Scout Leon, there he is. But then for four, they just kind of let me out of the cage. And I was very familiar with the, uh, the original game, it's my favorite game of all time, so I got to live out my dream of being an 80s action hero. Cheese and all, so that's it. It was pretty easy for me to do that, and I had a blast. Yes. Yes. Right into the mic so we can hear you. Name and question. Hi, my name is Manu, and this is a question for everyone. So, for motion capture, which is your favorite to do? Cutscenes or more gameplay action animations? I think one of us could probably answer this successfully. Yeah. yeah. I love cutscenes. Cutscenes are, for me, like the, the most fun to do. It's just, it's like a beautiful combination of both theater and film. Um, and you just get to like let it rip. You got to get it all in one shot, um, so scenes can be long. So you really get a chance to like play and explore. Um, it, it by far, I don't, I don't think I'm speaking out of school. It, it's the most fun, hands down. Anyone else want to answer? It's just what we get to do together most of the time. So cinematics are the, the, the things where we as actors get to actually really work off of each other. Whereas a lot of the more gameplay stuff, you know, we'll do walks like goals and stuff like that, but a lot of it happens in the booth because at that point player has control. So we're not needing to give you, you know, the, the full interactions and whatever else. So cinematics just bring us more joy. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Come on, straight up, my friend, right into the mic. Name, question. Hi, my name's Jonathan. Um, first off, I thought the panel was just Nick, so it's kind of like expecting a plate of broccoli and getting a bowl of ice cream that everybody is. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you were broccoli. Nick, you were broccoli. Thanks. I said expecting broccoli. <laughs> you got ice cream. Yay! Right. Right. So, so well, you actually, actually answered this already. Yes. I was going to ask for anybody on the panel who's a gamer what your all-time favorite game is. Ooh. So next is obviously Resident Evil 4. That's on my top five for sure. Um, Jeff, you start I was a big gamer growing up. Um, it's a toss-up. Can I give you a couple? Because I can't pick one. I'm not that kind of guy. Couples, right? um, the original Zelda. Yes. Ocarina of Time. That's my old time. The original Double Dragon. Yeah. Uh, Burger Time holds a special place in my heart. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's, that's a good smattering right there. Oh, and the original Ninja Turtles. Yeah. And the stand up arcade. Holy shit. I'm really? a fucking game. Yeah. Also, NES Turtles or the arcade turtles? Also, NES Turtles were challenged, but the stand up arcade that turtles were just like pure fun. Burger Time goes crazy. Yeah, Burger Time's out of control. Yeah. I see you. OG Turtles, dude. OG Turtles. Can't pass the swimming level. <laughs> I still listen to the music. Really? It's amazing. Uh, well, basically, do you want to ask? Jeez. Uh, okay. So, I kind of started, we got like the original PlayStation. We're like that weird family that had like the disc all of a sudden. So, for us, it was Rayman was my first one on that. You all know, okay, good. Um, I still actually, till this day, haven't gotten past the candy land part at the very end, which really haunts me actually now that I think about it, you could do that. But anyways, so, um, uh, 007. Um, and I would say definitely Ninja Turtles. Um, and then all things Tomb Raider, though. Yeah. 
this day, I still think I have Lara, but <laughs> You've got a bit of a Lara vibe going on. She does. Yeah, you do, though. I used to cosplay as her. I used to come to like, shows and like, cosplay as Lara. That was my thing. So, anyways. Yeah. Um, I became more of a gamer in COVID, which was just 2020, um, but growing up I played Nintendo games, so a lot of the Nintendo games and, and that sort of stuff, um, but my, one of the, I just really, really love Breath of the Wild. I, it's just so much fun and it brought me so much joy and it was my first, um, one of the Zelda games that I had, had ever played, um, and then I started playing more, more AAA games, honestly, to like look at other people's work and I played through Uncharted, I played through Tomb Raider, and I, I love it. It's just so much fun. So. And Maggie, I know you're not much of a gamer, but like when you were younger, did you get to play with friends or anything like that? <laughs> she Is that not? Not? She didn't get to play with yeah. friends. <laughs> I'm sorry for bringing back harsh I'm memories. sorry. Do you want to lay down, Maggie? Yeah. You can pick board games. Yeah, board games. Snood? <laughs> Snood? 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 Yeah. Anybody? Yeah. Maggie's got a friend! <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a great question. Thank you. My Thank friend. you Wait, computer game, Dr. Brain. Anyone very obscure? Thank you! <laughs> Done. Thank you. Hello, my friend. Straight hey. up into the mic. Any um, questions? I'll I enjoy this. I usually sound much better than this. Um, but it's great to see you all here. It's also great to finally catch a full panel hosted by Claire. You're probably one of the best moderators that I've Yes, she is. Yeah. 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 Stop buttering on the moderator. <laughs> okay, honestly, fans request guests all the time, but if you have cons that you love going to, request moderators because they make all the difference in these panels. So you can request moderators like the amazing Claire. We Claire. We love you. Stop, you're actually making me blush a bit. Stop it, you guys, okay? <laughs> Just Wait. say your bloody question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's very yeah. sweet of you. Oh, yeah. You're some of the best chemistry I've ever seen in a moderator. <laughs> um, however, um, I always love asking actors the inside the actor studio questions. Um, unfortunately, there's 10 of them, but they are rapid fire. If we're okay, just do it real quick. Otherwise, Can we ask, like, if the rapid fire, let's do it three, because it's such a okay. long line. Yeah, let's Take go for numbers it. between one and ten, then. Two, seven, three. <laughs> Two, seven, three. Oh, now I get it. Okay, number two, <laughs> then. Let's go. What's your least favorite word? Least, first, least favorite word. The first question is, what's your favorite word? Try to say the word world or water in another accent. Water. Clearly. Water. Water. World. I never liked the word loaf. I think that's a weird word. Loaf. Okay, Steffi, Jeff, Maggie. Flesh. Flesh. I say it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a gross word. Uh, uh no. <laughs> I like all words. <laughs> okay, next question. So, go for it. Uh, what turns you on, creatively, spiritually, or emotionally? Whoa! Glad you finished that. Somebody did the lights. <laughs> Maggie, get back on that mic. <laughs> what turns you on, creatively, spiritually, or emotionally? Yes. Cheese. Nintendo games. <laughs> Retro Nintendo games. A passion. Like people coming with real passion. Uh, honestly. <laughs> so cute. I'm not on that note. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I mean, literally, I can go from like, the world sucks everything's dark, and then I'd like go for a walk in the sunlight, and I'm like, oh my god, the world is beautiful, and I love everyone! So sunlight. Nature. <laughs> Nature. Nature. And last one, very fast. If heaven exists, what would you like God to say to you when you arrive at the pearly gates? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. No pressure. Okay, here we go. You did a hell of a job, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> Nicole, Stephanie, Maggie. Exactly as intended. And you love the club? Aww. Aww. That's awesome. Aww, stop 
Footage, do you get scared or are you expecting it? <laughs> Depends the scene. Uh, still to this day, when you play RE2 Remake, Mr. X, just oh, yeah. no matter how well you know the game, you never know where he's going to be. And so, you know, you, you just go through this hallway, so you start to hear the footsteps and the music drop, and you're like, oh shit, oh no, oh no, 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 These guys don't have to play with me, but that gives me anxiety to this day. <laughs> I was going to say, a bunch of us have actually played through several Resident Evil games online. You can catch them on YouTube, Stephanie's channel, my channel, Nick's channel, and so you, you can see us. We tend to scream and react. And, a lot. And, yeah, so there's there's a lot of screaming. They're, they're definitely uh, scary, and as far as the narratives go, like obviously we made the game where we know what's going to happen, but that doesn't mean it isn't terrifying, because the, the music and everything they do just creates so much. And we've learned that she's easy to trick. I've that on her <laughs> Oh, I got tricked too. I don't know who it was, but on RE4, they're like, yeah, shoot at the fish. Shoot at the fish. You guys suck. Nick, <laughs> Nick and my moderator, Jen, schemed, and we're like, Nick, the, the, the fish. Nick sang to Nick. I call myself. Wait, you too? Oh, yeah. They were oh, good scare. Yeah. Everybody watches that stream. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Thank you. Thank you. What up, Krauser? Hello. What's your name and question? My name is Nero, and that's a sick-ass jacket, Leon. Damn. All right. Um, so my question, I had to write it down. Uh, Resident Evil characters come and go, sometimes tragically, untimely, or just. But if it meant having an epic world-saving death and powerful voice-acting performance, which main character would you choose to kill off? Sorry, I'm a villain guy, so. Like one of our own characters, or, or any character any in general? Any character. Yeah, start murdering your friends, Jeff. Do it. <laughs> yeah, better you guys than me. Okay, let's start that one, then. It was the start off. Mag, you look, you're ready to go. <laughs> Where do I begin? <laughs> no, you murder. Who should you kill? Um, yeah, wow. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah, um, Who would you kill? Yeah, Jeff, 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 J
Oh, but you guys, <laughs> I would pick Resident Evil 5 because I would have at least one day with Sheba. And that would be all I would need, and then I would float off in Devon. One day. Love it. Keep driving, cool. Village, because I want to be in my castle, and I probably wouldn't leave, I'd just luxuriate in the giant bathtub. Bathtub? Yeah. Blood. Piano room, tootle about, try on some dresses, steal some lipstick. Yeah. I think I'd thrive there, actually. I might be my, my home environment. You're calling? Yeah. Um, I, uh, uh, I survived one and didn't the other, so I'm gonna go with Village too, just for fun. I just wanna go hang out in a cool country. You wanna hang out with me? Yeah, do you wanna chill out with me? Do you wanna put you in the piano? Do you wanna sing together in the yeah. piano? What's your name? What's your question? Nice and loud and clear. My name is Haley. Hi. Hello. You guys are all amazing. Um, my question is, uh, what went through your guys' heads when you first found out that you starred in like one of the most pinnacle game series ever? And Jeff has to answer in his Duke impression. <laughs> my what? Your Duke impression. Oh, God. I don't have a Duke yeah. impression. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I do? Yeah. I haven't seen my feet in four years. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> can, I, can I think I mind then? Someone, someone else go for it. I almost, I almost fell off a step, step ladder. I was, uh, I was painting a house uh, interior, to be exact, and I got the call from the casting director, and she said, "So we're gonna offer you the part. Would you like to be Leon in RE2 remake?" And I almost fell off, and I had I, I, I stumbled down, and I had to sit down, and I go, "Are you fucking kidding me?" And she goes, "No, I'm not fucking kidding you." She's like, "Would you like to be Leon?" And I was like, "Yeah." So I almost fell off a ladder and broke my head. So I might not have been. So Nick has almost died not once, <laughs> twice for Leon. What are you gonna do next? Well, I'll think of something, but that's that's my story. Well, but you guys yeah, I mean, it was it was huge for me. I don't know if I really understood the full weight of honestly this, like this kind of enthusiasm. Uh, I, I knew like intellectually, but you don't really feel it until you have people coming up that have been fans since the the nineties and being like, you you know, you really brought this person to life, or this meant so much to me. Or new fans being like, I've never played, and then I. You know, it just means so much. So for me, I think it was more like I was working with such incredible people. And so at the time, I was really just focused on like, yeah, it's, it's you, baby. Um, and so I, I just, uh, I was focused on the people in front of me. And I, I think we really were. We were, we were bubbled. We weren't, we knew it would be big when it came out, but we weren't thinking about it while we were living in these people's worlds. Because they're not thinking about it. They're just surviving the next day. I mean, so, I mean, when Nick and I uh, did it, it was like, it was going to be the first remake, which I truly believe kind of like set Capcom back up to bring together OG fans and new fans in a whole new way. And, you know, when I found out, like I went through so many auditions, <laughs> like there were so many callbacks. And I definitely was super cheeky with my last one and was like, screw it, I know that this isn't a code name, but I know this is Claire, because I freaking know this game, and I know Claire, and no one else says, don't shoot, I'm a human. Um, so, like, I, I wore, you know, a red vest to that audition, and I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna go all out, you know? And so when I actually did finally get that call after so long, um, I just acted super professional. And I was like, oh yeah, hi, it's Stephanie. You know, I'm like, oh. And when I saw the number, I was like, oh. You know, but I'm like, yeah, hi, no, yeah, it's 
still me? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, they did. So they do want me as her. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I can look at my schedule. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Sounds great. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. <gasps> Yeah. Hey, did you guys with Jeff and um, Maggie? Yeah, I mean, I'll just say, um, sometimes I think these things come together, like, perfectly. I, when we were auditioning, Nicole and Neil and I were all there on the same day, and... Neil knew about everyone, way too busy to be here, but... And it was, uh, none of us knew each other, and we started just even gelling in the audition process, um, and it was just very organic, and I think... It was good because I don't think any of us knew what it was going to become. We didn't know when we were filming how big it would or wouldn't be. Um, and I think that's where projects really sing is where, you know, the cast isn't aware, but if there's like real organic chemistry, you really do enjoy each other, then I think really like magical things can happen. So. Love that. Thanks, Janet. Mike, you want to add anything before we get to the next question? Oops. Uh, okay. Um, my experience was very different because I everything was under NDA. I was a brand new actor to Los Angeles, and I self-submitted myself to this random breakdown that had none of the same code words, none of like everything was fake. The character names, the sides I auditioned with. So when I got the call, I was like, Oh, cool. All right. Uh, awesome. And then I showed up on day one for the table read, and that's when I started to be like, Whoa. Nobody said the name still. But there was just a palpable energy, it was quite electric in the room, and I felt that something really big was happening that I didn't understand. And it's funny because there were I people there that did know that it was Resident Evil, Correct. but no one had said it just whisper. No one had said it out loud. Because I, I was at that table right in, I mean, I had been called by my cinematics director, I knew exactly what game I was working on, and Maggie was like, I was like, cool. I didn't know until the morning of, because Nicole told me. Oh. That was when we were doing Village. Wait, really? I didn't know. I didn't know. Get out of here. I did not know, really. No, what? yeah, it was wild, yeah. I'm just oh. in the know. All <laughs> time, everyone. In the know. Thank you for your question. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Last but not least, hello. Now we're going to have to get super fast. So what's Hi. your name? What's your question? Hi, my name is Mika, and I uh, wanted to ask, uh, aside from your own characters, of course, who is your, each of your guys' favorite characters in Resident Evil? Favorite, favorite characters. characters. No thinking, quick fire. I've been saying it all, all day. Uh, Sheva, I think, is really Ooh. underrated, really powerful female protagonist. Love her. Okay, quick fire. Next one. Maggie. Ah, Morel. Yes. Yeah. Right, cool. I'm giving love to Claire. Yeah. I like me on. Yeah. Last but not least, Stephanie. I mean, the other badass female, Jill fucking Valentine. Yeah. Edgar here. 